I think we'd all love to see Harrison Ford and Rodney Dangerfield in Solo A Star Wars Story. So without further ado, here's a scene with both of those actors. Look, I came up running scams on the streets of Corellia. I was boosting AV-21s when I was 10. I'm a driver. I'm a flyer. And hey, you said yourself, I gotta get out of here, right? Hey, what's a fancy fly boy doing I know in the mud? Well, I got kicked out of the Imperial Academy for having a mind of my own. And I'm a great pilot, and I got to go home. This guy is nuts. No one goes back to Corellia. I got a reason. Hello, welcome back to Star Wars Minute. It's the daily podcast where we analyze, scrutinize, and celebrate the Star Wars movies one minute at a time. I'm Pete the Retailer from PeteTheRetailer.com. I'm Alex Robinson from AlexRobinson.fun. And I'm Tony Consiglio from StarTocoWars.com. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> welcome back, Tony. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> Uh, today we're here to talk about minute 74, 74 of Solo, a Star Wars party. Uh, minute 74 starts with L3 letting us know that uh, the methods are excruciating but effective. And uh, it ends with Chewie um, just throwing down his arms in frustration. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah. <clears throat> um... So they, they do the old uh, pretend to be, you know, we, we get the, the pretend to be a prisoner and then break free gimmick. The old fake prisoner trick. <laughs> I think they don't know by now. They know that trick. Yeah. Well, this is the first time that it's ever happened, I guess, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> by the time, you know, Jabba should know eventually, but. It's my favorite Beatles song. Jabba, Jabba should, should know. know. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is a trick that people seem to do a lot in Star Wars time. Mm-hmm. Do they do it in any of the sequels? I can't think of it. Pretending to be a prisoner. I mean, Finn kind of springs Poe. He kind of turns a real prisoner into a fake prisoner by helping him escape. Right. So Classic technically, sequel, right? He's, he up. is a prisoner and then not a prisoner briefly. Yes. Pretending to be a prisoner briefly. All right. I'll count it. <laughs> it depends on what point you consider him in being, uh, in still in uh, first order custody or not. But Right, yeah. Um, I wonder if that happens much in real life. People pretend to be prisoners and then hmm. use that as a... Uh, as a. How do you pretend to be a prisoner? I guess you'd have to have people dressed up like cops or whoever. Right pretending to bring you in <laughs> like we just caught this guy but i guess they would know like well, you know i guess the thing is everyone wears masks in star wars it makes it a lot easier to to pretend yeah. to be a uh not everyone but um right well it's like isn't there just like a new story about that some there was prison yeah. guard escaped with a with an oh yeah and then like alabama was in alabama yeah, i don't know yeah <laughs> and um, weirdly, so they had the same last name but they weren't related <laughs> Which means was it common like Johnson at least, or was it like I don't know. Maybe Johnson, and Johnson. <laughs> Johnson yeah. and Johnson? Johnson and Johnson. Johnson escaped from prison. <laughs> that was a Been gag from that was a gag from <laughs> Die Hard. I think when the when the FBI show up, they go Johnson and Johnson, no relation, because <laughs> one's black and one's white. <laughs> <laughs> you think that was product placement? Hmm. Well, what I'm sure. Well, speaking the, uh, of disguises, no, oh, so go ahead. Right. No, I was going to talk about Hudson Hawk. Let's not do that. Go, <laughs> let's go. Keep moving. Um, Keep moving. Do we assume the Pikes know who Beckett is? Because why? Because Beckett's also a disguise, and I'm like, is he that famous? Where the Pikes would be like, "You're Woody Harrelson from Cheers." And then, right. <laughs> they want him to sign their. Uh, yeah. Um, Tony, do you think of Woody Harrelson as a movie star, or do you think of him as the Cheers guy? Uh, to me, he's always a cheers guy. I think, I think it's, it's weird. His voice immediately, immediately brings me back to cheers. Oh, I didn't know you were that big of a cheers head. Well, I've watched it. I watched the series through once or twice on one of the platforms, but it was one of those things where I had it on in the background while I was doing stuff. 
So the voices were much more prominent for me. So when I hear Woody Allen's Woody Allen, Woody Harrelson's voice, right away, right away when I hear his voice, or Woody, or Woody yeah, it's a completely different. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is a completely different movie. No, but uh, yeah, when I hear his voice, I just think cheers when I hear his voice. But then when I see him, it's easy for me to gradually go, oh yeah, he's playing a part, yeah, playing someone yeah. else. He's an actor. <laughs> he's an actor. <laughs> Acting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um. Yeah, it. It. Uh, I don't know. Interesting to see. We should have t- taken a. Should have had every guest so far submit an answer as to what they best know Woody Harrelson from. I guess we have been asking them. We've been to cut past couple. We just haven't been doing it. Offic- we haven't been keeping paperwork. So yeah. Let's get. I'll the- also, I guess, imagine the over that. at Star Wars Minute Wiki on, should be there. on oh, age. Exactly. I'm sure a lot of people know him from that zombie. Was it Zombie Land? Yeah, that right. was a popular movie, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So. Bill Murray was in that me, movie. I, it's funny because I think of Natural Born Killers first. Hmm. I think Natural Born Killers, more yeah. movies than than television, but um, that's true. Uh, I think he's really good in this. I think mm-hmm. you know, going through it and making a note of like funny lines. I think he gets a lot of good. Uh, he gets a lot of good lines. Yeah, so, I, yeah he's, that, that he's, definitely helps. He, he I think, because he feels whenever he talks, he seems laid back. I think it's fun to he's fun to listen. Laid back. <laughs> uh, so this is where we get to see the droid monitoring we get to see the the sort of uh the sort of uh, brain uh what is this? what's the term right. I'm looking control for? control center control center the sort of yeah not the word i was looking for but sure all right uh where they're all uh, the, the <laughs> main heart frame. of the operations here yeah main frame. the main frame uh and um we see specifically the droid that is monitoring because we see the little um the the Close yeah. camera TV where we see yeah, well, Chewie. When Hobbit. you're going to escape, shoot the camera first. That's the whole, you know, they, they did that. Remember in, in the motion picture, they just spend 10 minutes shooting all the cameras. <laughs> well, in this, I feel like they kill the guards first, and then well, maybe they, that's where they got the idea. Yeah, they like They're attack like, them and then shoot the cameras so they can't tell us. Yeah. Hey, you know, you got to learn. You got to learn. It's a yeah, learning process. It's a learning yeah. process. So like, oh, we would have saved time if we just shot the cameras first. Right. Oh, <laughs> shoot the cameras. Then kill the guy. <laughs> Although I, I also Solo lost a perfect moment there when he should have turned to Chewbacca at that point when he had the arm. He said, "What are you bothering with him for? He's armless." Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> um, but yes, I did want to ask about this droid. I was hoping that you had information on this yes. droid. Well, he's okay. featured quite prominently in the Star Wars official guide. All right. Uh, he gets his, he's the first droid ally we see. Oh, ah, yeah. yes. He's almost like if R2 and a gonk had a baby. Hmm. Sort of. His <laughs> legs, but his body is kind of... Um... Anyway, his name is DDBD. Really? <laughs> his name is DDBD. Oh, wow. I love it. DDBD. DDBD. <laughs> he's, part, he's part Jawa, too. Um... Oh, it's funny. He's a WDD admin mech. Hmm. And uh, interestingly played by Warwick Davis. Hmm. Wow. WWD was was his initials. Is that right? What? The the droid is a WWD admin mech. WWD. Yeah, yeah. And would WWD be Warwick W. Davis? Yeah, Warwick W. Davis. Okay, that's why. I was going to say, well, why does this character start with W? But. If the type of droid, that's even better. That's like a whole. You, you'll allow it. Did I ever yeah. tell you guys I shook hands with him? You didn't shake hands with him. You shook hands with Kenny Baker. Oh, Kenny Baker. That's <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was a long time ago. <laughs> long time. Yes, I was <laughs> with you when that happened. That's why. That's oh, why that's I'm right. Sure it was that, uh, that was at the Pittsburgh uh, Comic Con. Yeah. Anyway, that's right. That was awesome. Convention I love that. We've lost. Him that was so much fun. So, mm-hmm. uh, unlike the Pikes. This droid does have a different sound than some of the other droids. It's not like yes. the same stuff, which is good. I like it. It sounds yeah. more, yeah, more. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, more a more Wally kind of robot. Wow, yeah, robot it's got a little kind of uh, glissando to it or something. What is that? Almost like he's kind of talking. It's like, I wonder yeah. if that's Warwick Davis's <laughs> voice being electronically hmm. manipulated. No, that's Warwick, what he sounds like. Warwick Davis that's what he doing sounds like. a John Wayne impersonation, and then they filtered that. <laughs> Warwick Davis it up. being like, you know, yeah. <laughs> just reading. He, he doesn't know John Wayne. He's just like, uh, 
what are you doing around here, Pilgrim? Like, and they're like, oh, great. And they just run it through some filters and stuff. <laughs> He's like, I'm Batman. And they're like, no, no, it's John. That's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> That's Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Close enough. Aww. Um, but yeah, I do like this. Uh, I like the look of the droid. Again, it, it seems like it's slightly earlier model, but not too much. And like, I like that if they give them different sounds. <laughs> um, but then uh, Han and Chewie in the elevator. We get again. I forgot that this was in there. I, I keep all these things keep coming up. I'm like, all right, I forgot that that this was in there. I forgot we had to explain this. And I know, I don't know. Are you talking about you're talking about Chewbacca pulling the arms off of the pike guard? I'm talking about the, yeah, the flippers off of the pike guard. Well, is it a pike guard or is it one of the other? Because we we did, I I meant to ask about these other guys and we didn't get to talk about them. Right, the other guys who look like twin pod cloud car pilots. Oh yeah, they're, those are um. Uh, that's a uh, member of the mining guild. Mm. Ah, yeah, so I was wondering. Those are the there. ones Orlando was uh, talking about, right? Member of the mining. Yeah, he's, he's not the, part of the uh, mining guild. Yeah, so apparently the mining guild sends agents such as Yorsh Mantez to patrol the Kessel Yorsh. mines and to ensure the guild gets its cut of minerals found within. I like that they're <laughs> that they will be there protecting the workers, like making, but they're like, no, no, no we're just here to make sure we get our cut of. Right. Yeah, make sure we get well stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so there you go. Yorsh Manted, Yorsh. one of the many uh, mining Mantead. guild agents we see roaming around. But oh. I guess that makes sense because those are ma- mining. So maybe the Twin Pod Cloud Car guys are oh. also from the mining. You know, no, but if he's not part of the mining guild, I don't know. But So maybe that, that look has to do with mining somehow. Mm. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. It's interesting. Or maybe at one point the, the, the Twin Pod Cloud Cars were like... Um, a sort of part of the mining guild and then they broke off to be their own thing, but they still kept the right the mining, like the theme of their uniforms. Right. Just right, because right. Like, that was like tradition. Before Han Solo won the won Bespin, it was part of the mining guild, maybe at some point in its history. And so it still had a lot of that stuff left over, uniforms and equipment. <laughs> mm. yeah. Well the costume design the costume designer was just saving money, just kind of used the same one and just kind of Right, stapled some stapled some other okay. stuff on it. Space who was the, didn't we, it. who uh, wasn't there a costume designer? Space in, stuff. Oh no, it's a chef in uh, in in one of the certain point of view books. Well, I, th- I thought there was there was an a, like a, a fashion designer on Bespin, right? There was somebody you could go to to buy clothes. There was like a like a fancy clothing store. Yeah, yeah. It makes so. It makes that makes sense. A, uh... yeah. yeah, and a chef. I think there were both. Anyway. So, well, uh, well speaking yeah, of fancy so, clothes. Well, wait, can we talk about Chewbacca pulling the arms off? That's, we, that's what we... I was going to go to, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Speaking of fancy clothes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Just yeah, made so a we mess. Finally, we finally get to see Chewbacca pull Sorry. someone's arms off, something we've been hearing threatened to have happened since the very first Star Wars movie. Yeah. Um, I can't tell if I like it or not. And it was a deleted scene from The Force Awakens. So, finally, right. we get uh, we get to see it really happen. Um. I think part of my problem with it is that it's shot poorly. Like mm-hmm. it's dark. And when Chewie holds up the arms, like his fur kind of is hanging down. So it's, I mean, I guess it's clear their arms, but I feel like if it, I don't know, it's a little, um, as a, like, as a comic gag, it, there's something missing from it. Right. Like <laughs> visually or something. Would have been better to see him pulling the arms off. Like, no, or at I, least like, I like putting it... his arm on it and, Right, well, it yeah. would be great if he literally just grabbed his arms and with his foot just pulled the body off and just, you know. <laughs> it was like a like a uh, Sam Raimi kind of a thing. You just like kind of see it tear and there's gushing. Yeah. Yeah. Gushing <laughs> oh. blood but everywhere. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah. I don't know. So I don't know. it sounds like, like we're kind of mixed on it. Yeah. Like, well, I don't know if I like that it's in there at all. Mm-hmm. And the fact that I forgot about it, I think bodes well for it because it wasn't. It doesn't fully, doesn't totally derail the, yeah, the movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it, it is works a in bit... the context. They are trying to, you know, they are fighting yeah. guys. It's not yeah. like it. It's better than it would have been in the canteen in the uh, in Maz's palace because right. Like, um, can you? I thought it would have been funny if they pulled the if you pulled the arms off the guy and then like as they're the guy was like ah. Oh, like just wailing like right. you know like <laughs> do you like think if someone Knight. can you yeah can you if someone pulls your arms off do you think that is a situation where you are can remain conscious or you think the shock would just be so great that you would 
I mean, obviously the blood loss at some point, you'd probably, that would probably kill you. But do you right. think you could, if someone pulled your arms off, would you be like, oh my God, look, I don't have any freaking arms anymore. Although in a universe with cybernetic arms, I think so. it doesn't seem like it's as, right. as big of a deal. But hmm. I was like, not again. <laughs> I think they should have ran out with the arms and slapping all the other, you know, oh, yeah. fighting with the arms and his and then, I mean, he should put him in his sleeve and then wait to shake someone's hand. And like, ah. <laughs> um, or like, put your hands up, and he like has those hands up, but he's got guns in his real hands somehow. Or, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> no, he's, he's really making sh- all sorts of jokes, and and Han's just not translating it. You know, maybe he's like, can I learn a hand? You know, uh, or just doing different. He should have just kept them for next time they put handcuffs on him. Could have just used those hands, <laughs> yeah, handcuffs on them, and thrown them away. It's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Say, hey, do you should I keep both of these, or do you just take one hand solo? And but he's saying it, in, he's saying it in Sherwick, and he's just on. Is like Chewy God, like I just yeah, he doesn't him. even answer him. He's like, oh. hmm. um, but I do like the idea of him keeping with him, and the hand just being like a member of the gang from now on. He puts him in his little, puts him in his, in his satchel, and we could use some muscle, and he's like, mm. yeah. Uh, here are several. Enough. They start to smell, and the rest of the group is just like, "What do we? Should we talk to them about this?" <laughs> but the, the hands are still alive. They're like cousin it or something. I mean, uh, thing. They're like thing. They're still going around, and like, you know, people are like, "Ah, oh, like oh, those what, what, those things stink." What are we keeping them around for? And they give them the finger, like. <laughs> I'm also picturing it being like Homer's disgusting six foot party sub that he keeps right, eating yeah. where Chewbacca has this rotting arm in his bag <laughs> and they're like, you should really throw that away. And he's like, no, it's yeah, like, no. <laughs> you don't remember? This was the, 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 the fun times that we had on that. We remember. <laughs> um, but is yeah, this it, the first time you think this is the first time uh, Han doesn't seem especially like horrified. He's just more annoyed that he was wanted to wear the guy's outfit. Right. But he doesn't seem at all perturbed by the fact that this monster just tore someone's arms out of its so- out of his socket. Right. Oh, great! Wookies, Wookies are known to do that. They so. are. I guess, How yeah. great would his reaction have been if it was like a genuine, like, what just happened? He's just like, get screaming. me out of here! Get me out of here! <laughs> all right, don't do whatever you say. <laughs> I picture it like uh, you like Gene Wilder and Young Frankenstein, where he's like, "For God's sake, get me out of this door!" Get me out of here. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> uh, oh, well, Chewbacca. T- t- Tony kind of hinted at this uh, a couple minutes ago, but uh, do you think this is where Han Solo got the idea to wear vests? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, great, that's the one I was going to wear. He's like, although, a jacket yeah, yeah. without arms. Hmm. <laughs> that would be the perfect. Go there. That would have, this would that's have been a perfect, perfect opportunity. Why yeah, didn't this he just to take, do, put on he should, I guess, just like, have to do and yeah. put the vest on. Oh, yeah. that was a great mistake. And it's his vest. Like, it's that black vest. Like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like you know so what? Not bad, bad. Not when he ripped the arms off, it perfectly right. separated right at the seams. He pulled them apart at the seams. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, it'll be great if Chewbacca took the arm sleeves and put them on his own arms. His arms like, that, that, that doesn't work. That's not, <laughs> like that's not a good one. Trying look. them on. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, it's like, yeah. like body chaps. <laughs> it just <laughs> sleeves with no. <laughs> um, oh, like so chapstick, tough. but for the whole yeah. body. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if it was the 80s it could have put him on like leggings so why would he wear them leggings <laughs> something he's turning into like a leather face <laughs> <laughs> right yeah he's just gonna keep things from everybody he kills oh man oh, oh my that's what Chewie did with that Lando's cape closet <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> go into oh. in the sequel era and there's all dried human <laughs> skin oh. <laughs> it's like oh. of, of uh, mm. anyway anyway <laughs> <laughs> now that we're there, I guess that's all I had for uh, 74. <laughs> uh, did anybody else have any uh, anything else from, from this minute in particular? Uh, I know. No, I guess not. Oh, well, I just want to call attention. Uh, we mentioned Tool uh, yesterday, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, the reminder that Tim, Tam Tell Screege yeah. is the, the name of the character Lando plays. So uh, I don't know if they are he's just supposed Lando. to be the same character or whether Lando's like 
I'm a totally different guy. You know what I mean? Is it? So I'm saying, I'm, you know, my my belief is that he's just Lando. He's just Lando. <laughs> he's just Lando. Lando. That's hey, his auto. That's his memoir. He's like just right. Lando. Just Lando. <laughs> I, I have a question, but I don't remember if it was this minute or not. All right. it, 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 does does um does Kira kill one of the guys? Is this this minute? That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Oh, I apologize. Mm. I, I'm overstepping my minutes. Kira Pike shall will kill down. tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> um, hopefully. Uh, Tony, can you kill tomorrow? Can you come back and uh, <laughs> help us out with the with one more of these? I, I will. I, I really, I, I'm not going to lie. I have absolutely nothing else to do. Oh, right. That's fine. Um, well, then we'll uh, we'll take you up on that. We'll meet you back here tomorrow. Hey, everybody else, um, we will also meet you back here tomorrow, hopefully. But uh, in the meantime, buy some stuff, will you? Go look at that. Let's see the shirt that Alex is wearing. That's a Tony Consiglio original. If you go to StarWarsMinute.com slash Toco, you can get so that. Mine. Look at that. The one My that, shirt that is... Tony's wearing, that's an Alex uh, that's original. An Alex we don't have a original. link set up to go to Alex's store because, you know, why would we? Um, <laughs> but go behind to Alex. dot slash yeah, and you'll find it. <laughs> No, uh, <laughs> behind Alex is is uh, one of the ones that are on our store for, I think for, on our store, we link to your products too in like a, it's like a gallery or something. But uh, uh, in our store, you can go to uh, starwarsminute.com slash merch and you can find that beautiful uh, collection of little pixel art featuring, look at that, you got Lobot, you got a Zuckus there, you got a uh, Lando in disguise. Surprise, surprise, <laughs> Lando in disguise. <laughs> Um, that work, the, you know, that works perfectly as a bed sheet in the summer when it, you know, because it's very light, it's very nice. I enjoy I don't know it. Why they don't print on bed sheets? We'll have to ask about it. They'd, they'd, they'd be like, it would be nice to get a sheet set from the same. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Like a fitted, fitted sheet with Star Wars minute on it. Anyway, go there, buy stuff, come here tomorrow. Star Wars minute. Star Wars. Star Wars minute. Star Wars minute.